Senator from Arkansas. I rise today to discuss the need to pass the U.S.-Mexico-Canada Agreement. It is frustrating that we have to continue to speak about this issue. We've been so close for a long time now. But lack of action on the part of the House leadership continues to unnecessarily delay ratification. Our neighbors to the north and south are natural allies and trading partners, yet our trade policy with them has not been updated in 25 years. The President and his team worked very hard to get Canada and Mexico to the negotiating table to modernize our trade agreement in a mutually beneficial manner. That hard work has paid off in the form of the USMCA. It is ready for ratification, and the Senate is eager to get that done. Unfortunately, we are at the mercy of the House, which must act first. House leadership's refusal to move this trade deal is preventing additional job creation in our country and is sending the wrong signal to our trading partners across the globe. We ought to be spurring economic activity by striking fair trade agreements globally, not sitting on our hands and refusing to approve an agreement between two of our top trading partners. A fair and mutually beneficial trade agreement with our neighbors to the north and south is very important to my home state of Arkansas. Canada and Mexico are number one and two on the list of the top ten destinations for Arkansas's exports. Arkansas is one of a handful of states that in recent years has consistently exported more than what it imported from Canada and Mexico. The Arkansas World Trade Center, which has played a valuable role in connecting businesses in my state with international partners for over a decade, recently released a report summarizing trade jobs data for the natural state. The Center's report underscores that value trade brings to my state's economy and reinforces the fact that the path to a more prosperous, long-term outlook for Arkansas is through opening additional markets for our farmers, manufacturers, and small businesses. The report notes that as of September 2019, trade in Arkansas supported nearly 350,000 jobs. This represents approximately 26 percent of the state's total employed labor force. It points to a direct correlation between job numbers and trade. Documenting that trade-related jobs in the state have grown six times faster than total employment over the past few years. More importantly for our purposes here today, the report underscores just how crucial Canada and Mexico are for Arkansas's economy. Natural states' exports to Canada amounted to $1.2 billion last year. Our exports to Mexico totaled $870 million in that same time span. Combined, these two countries account for a third of Arkansas's total exports. Nearly 60, 69,000 jobs in my state are dependent on trade with Canada, and another 41,000 are tied to trade with Mexico. Melvin Torres, the Center's D Director of Western Hemisphere Trade, praised Arkansas's effective partnership with both countries for creating this, and I quote, symbiotic and successful relationship, end quote. That relationship will only grow with ratification of the USMCA. Canada and Mexico aren't just important markets for my state. Each of our states stand to gain with ratification of USMCA. This landmark trade deal will create over 175,000 jobs, helping to, helping to strengthen our economy and America's middle class. This overdue modernization of NAFTA will benefit workers in a wide array of industries. Manufacturing, tech, and more stand to gain from UC USMCA. It will, add it, it will add much needed certainty for farmers and ranchers who currently need every market that they can get 
rural America is struggling right now and approving this agreement will provide a shot in the arm for the rural economy. Ratification of USMCA, along with the recent deals struck with South Korea and Japan, will show the rest of the world that the U.S. is open for business, proving that the U.S. is negotiating in good faith to reach mutually beneficial outcomes for all parties that are involved could really move the needle in other ongoing trade standoffs. House leadership needs to get on the stick. USMCA is too important for our nation's economic future to be sitting in limbo while House Democrats focus on partisan goals.